This career counselor that I talked to on Friday, the happiness is in my core. I gotta do some core work to access it. Here we go. It's now Monday, September 27th. Gotta pay rent soon. But anyway, this career counselor person that I talked to got my initial consultation with. Like I said, I wanted to be happy. She says she can see the happiness already in me. Then she asked where it was coming from. So she projected onto me and then I started to try to feel it myself. And she's like, where is it coming from? What part of your body is it in? Happiness is in my core. She's like, let it out. And then she's like, stop fighting the negative. So she like reframed my self as this tension between two things as opposed to like a unity of things. And that was kind of helpful. Hey, I made it to 11 minutes. Good girl. personal trainer and I'm working on my core right now. <sighs> oh, and then uh, the reason I started this video, corgasms, what I would call the corgasms. It's just like you work a muscle or a muscle area or like part of your body so hard that um, there's this kind of like mental cognitive transition that takes place. This is like sort of meta-ing of the experience. You've like broken through some barrier. So that's how the orgasm is, for me at least. <sighs> you are so awkward. You are such an awkward puppy. Oh! A meta-ing. <laughs> Okay. How does it feel? It feels good. It feels like there's a release of tension, uh, especially in my surgically operated on knee. Look what we're doing. I guess that might be a knee gasm. Try it out. Yeah, now I can do my planks. This feeling is Got rid of that thing. in my mind but it originates in my abs, my obliques, my glutes, my iliopsoas, each of my four quads sometimes, and in this order, vastus lateralis, rectus I'm gonna morris, do a plank every time I throw the frisbee for Moby. Vastus medialis. Um, it's sometimes also in my lats, sometimes in my hamstrings, probably also in my hip flexors, and my IT band. Oh yeah. Oh. I can paddle and plank. It's kind of like she senses this happiness in me and I need to like work on accessing it. There's happiness in my core. The happiness is in my core. I gotta do some core work to access it. Here we go. I'm gonna start with balance. Balance is like a core warm up. We're gonna do three minutes. On each leg. 
Wow. Ugh. Just kind of having fun with the ball and maybe doing some mini single leg squats. Three minutes each leg. I can do this. It's just gonna hurt. So I gotta take my pain and like push it out with my muscles. There's pain in my joints, my extremities. And there's one minute. Core is being activated. Quads are being activated. Proprioception. You can do a little bit of straight leg balance to vary it up and to give my quad a rest. There's some swelling that's working its way out of my knee right now. And I get to look at the mountains. They're changing color. So in the summer, it's like green and red. It's red mountain and it's very lush. The dirt is red and the plant life is green. But now there's like this middle color, which is all the fall things. That's so cool. Oh. Fall kind of fills out the natural color spectrum. I don't know. Natural color palette. Earth tones. 30 seconds left on this one. It's getting tough. It's getting tough. My uh, calf is tired. My quad is tired. My knee is definitely in some kind of pain at all times. It's, uh, it's mostly the quad tendonitis. Patellar tendonitis. I don't know. They're the, same, they're the same tendon, just in different places. So I think it's all, all related. I gotta take the muscle, focus on that. Ah, three minutes, there we go. Now we do three minutes on the good side. We got the special side and the good side. Special side, good side. Three more minutes of fun. We gotta do 70%, 30%, not 50-50. So, squatting, I wanna squat. All right, that was a decent set of squats. Planks are good for the core. Oh yeah, gotta start the timer again. We don't have a goal for these planks, but I don't know, my PR is 20 minutes. It'd be cool to go further than 20 minutes. I don't know if my GI tract is gonna allow for that, but I'm just gonna start with one minute. Baby steps. Oh, there's one minute. That's the first time I've corgasmed on video. I don't know how many minutes it's been. Oh, I'm very shaky on this. More corgasms. I feel like it's been five, six minutes. So the moral of the story here is do what feels good for you. What feels good for me right now as I'm narrating this is sitting on my floor uh, with an ice pack on my knee and hoping that you'll enjoy this video. I'll admit it's not orgasmic, but it's pretty good. So it doesn't have to be planks, but in my experience, planks can lead to orgasms. I've also had a similar experience in rehabbing my knee, where I do squats or something, and I'm approaching failure, which is just to say that the exercise is getting to the point where my muscles are almost too tired like to do it correctly with good form. I'm straining, I'm wobbling, I'm maybe in a lot of pain. But I maintain focus on that muscle group, and I do that last rep, and I get to the top. And there's this sudden. intense release of pain or swelling, and it's replaced by a feeling of strength, muscular strength or power. Anyway, so the orgasm feeling, generally speaking, is a sudden positive change in one's mental state. And it's induced, importantly, internally. 
so see if you can get it. Tell me how it goes. Thanks for watching. So that's all I have for today on Corgasms. I hope you learned something. I certainly did. If you have anything to add, or if you have a favorite core exercise, or some other PG-13 way of making yourself feel good, leave a comment. Thanks for stopping with me. I think the feeling, generally, the sudden positive change in one's mental state that comes from within. Alright, that was a decent set of squats.